Our good friend, Congressman John Dingell, is in the process of creating an international wildlife refuge, and he is working with our Canadian neighbors and his Canadian counterparts <coughs> in, in the Parliament. And uh, I would like to now ask Congressman Dingell to please come up and, and talk about this project. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Good morning, everybody. I want to say what a pleasure it is to be here, Your Honor. Congratulations on what you're doing. I want to talk about vision. But before I do it, I want to talk about some of the people who have it. And Your Honor, what you're doing here is a very important part of a whole broad undertaking that is going on in the Down Rivers. And you, Peter Stroke, it's always good to see. You know, if you look at the brochure that uh, John Hardy has put together, you'll see a picture of a couple of scruffy looking duck hunters. Uh, it, uh, it, it's George Mann and I, and Christopher, you will oftentimes see there with the two of us. We, we shoot here and we shoot in other places. But it's remarkable the wonderful time you have to sit in a duck blind and talk about the plans that you have for the future of the area. And I want to say how pleased I am to see George Vance. He's here. He's done a superb job. We're going to lose him under term limits for uh, state rep, but I think he might be running for state state senate. And I would hope that uh, everybody around who's interested in conservation environment will be there to help him. We're going to lose Christopher, who's uh, one of our duck hunting uh, friends, and we sit in the blind and talk about these things. Many of you have seen the discussion that uh, we have periodically at the Down River Summit. If you look at that, you'll find that there we talk about a whole broad array of things and about a whole vision, which John Hardig has done such a fine job of enunciating in connection with his responsibilities as the navigator of the Heritage River. And Peter, your labors in that particular have been particularly valuable. I'm pleased to report that the Canadians either have or will very shortly complete their designation of the Detroit River as an international heritage river. That will be a major step forward. And there are a lot of other things that are going forward that are of importance to all of us. And I want you to know that not only is the labors of yourself, Your Honor, but uh, of the council and your elected and appointed officials here in Trenton are very important, but so also are the labors of those who serve as consultants, as landscape architects, engineers, uh, and construction companies because this is going to take a lot. If you look at this river, it's an extraordinary thing. It's been used by people for better than 300 years and it's been abused, polluted, and treated badly by those of us who've lived along the shores. But, but many of us have finally come to realize that it is a body of life undertaking that, on which we are embarked and that, that in doing the things that we're trying to do, to pull together all of our efforts to make this a good place to live, the river is actually a linchpin, a centerpiece. And so as you look about, you'll observe that we're working on automobile heritage corps. They'll tell a little about the history of our industry and, and the history of the land. We're looking at greenways, which have been led by, by uh, George Manns and Christopher Dingle. If, and, and all of the mayors and local officials here about. If you look, you will see each of the communities is working to upgrade the quality of their riverfront and their waterfront and to build greenways and trails which interconnect. One of the things that we are working together on and on which I've had remarkable levels of support and success, and I want to thank everyone here, is the effort that we're going to have to set up a refuge. Now that sounds like a, a big deal. And there will be a lot done. Some remarkable strides have already been made. There's 320 acres that I got into a wind-up refuge years ago, and 20 acres that we just were given by the, by the uh, National Steel Company, which is wonderful wildlife habitat. What you are doing here today, Your Honor, and, and the people of, of uh, Trenton should know, is extremely valuable because it doesn't take a lot to make it possible, first, to improve the quality of life for human beings, but second, to improve the quality of life for fish and wildlife. This is an extraordinary river. Five million ducks and geese go down and down it. It's a river that has sturgeon in it, something which most of us don't even know exists. It's got rainbow trout and salmon going up and down. It's got all kinds of fish like perch and of course the wonderful walleye, which provides an extraordinary amount of not just rec uh, recreation, but some remarkably good eating. 
<laughs> and those things are going to do together. But if you look, the effort that we, and I'm not just talking about you, Your Honor, and, and the city of Trenton, but all of our people here at the Don River making, is to, is to upgrade the quality of life for us all. And that is to have, have a way of dealing with our history, the outdoor recreational aspects, but just the aesthetics, and quite frankly, the wonderful joy that goes with knowing that we have some wild places still here about us, places where fish, wildlife, birds can be found and can be enjoyed. And just knowing sometimes that they're there and seeing return of things like the bald eagle to this area can bring a tremendous amount of joy to somebody who really cares about the outdoors and who loves the outdoor heritage and history of this wonderful country of ours. But we've had, we've had great success and we're going to have more. Next week, I'm pleased to tell you, I hope that we will have our bill to create a refuge on the floor. And that's going to give us an opportunity to begin to negotiate management agreements with industries and communities, and, and certainly your leadership in this, Mayor Harding, is going to be enormously valuable, uh, to manage these areas for the greater good of us all, and for fish and wildlife, something that's been widely disregarded over the years. And that will enable us then to upgrade again the quality of life, to make Trenton and the other communities which are here about, uh, and so dependent on this river for all, for economic activity, for recreation, and other things, a chance to just look out and be satisfied that, that this is a great place to live and we're making better every day. Something which, by the way, is coming out to everybody else who's finally recognizing that the Down Rivers are a great place to live, a wonderful bunch of communities where people pull together and make them better for all of us. Well, having said that, um, the refuge is going to move. We're going to put it through the House very shortly. It will go through the Senate, and I want to pay tribute to our two senators because Senator Stavinoff and Senator Levin are waiting for it over there. And when it gets over there, they're going to get a pass for us. And this will be just another part of this wonderful cooperative effort in which all of us here in the Down River engage to improve the quality of life. And it's participated in by governments like yours here in Trenton, like uh, the other cities and communities. And uh, Gross Eel is, is actively working. I want to pay tribute to the supervisor over there for, the, for his leadership and the effort that they're throwing. Private organizations. Uh, who are working to clean the waters and to make this a better place, such as the Rouge River people who are working so hard up there, or the Friends of the Detroit River who are working so hard. But it's interesting. This is having an effect. I had my colleague to the south, uh, Marcy Captor, who's a great member of Congress, a wonderful woman, come over to me and say, I, I, want, I want to get your bill amended to put, to put a, a refuge which will extend clear around the southern edge of the western part of Lake Erie. I said, Marcy, just wait, it's a little bit too early. And I said, you're gonna to have to wait while we get this first step through. As soon as we've gotten that finished, we're gonna start out and we'll give you both technical assistance on the drafting and the handling of legislation, but also to show you how we work with those wonderful people of the Down River to see to it that we all pull together to set up a, a great treasure, one which doesn't cost a lot of money, but one which gives enormous rewards to everybody concerned, industry, communities, ordinary citizens, whatever you might happen to name. And so you can see that your work and your efforts here are beginning to move around the entire Lake Erie shore. And perhaps one day we can do something like that with regard to the entirety of the Great Lakes system. And we can do it in a, in a new way of having a federal refuge system in which it really is bottomed on cooperation between the three levels of government, federal, state, and local. So having said that, I do want to just say one thing. I always love to come here to Trenton. I raised four kids here, and I raised them alone. It was a hard and difficult time, but the affection and the support and the friendship of the wonderful people in this community meant an awful lot to me in some very difficult times. So when I can have the privilege of working with you on something that's going to make this area better for us all, and very especially for you, it's a matter which pleases me mightily. A couple of last thoughts. We're working now to try with some of the nationwide conservation organizations to save the uh, Chrysler property and to get it into public ownership. We're in consultation with, with Her Honor the Mayor to try and see to it that, that we can have something which will 
serve both our conservation interests and your recreational interests here. And we're working with the other communities on that. We're, of course, also working to try and see to it that, that Humboldt Marsh is preserved and protected for the wonderful wildlife values. But very shortly, this is just the last point I really want to make. Uh, we began to work with, with uh, the Canadians in the final part of their effort to create a Canadian part of an international wildlife heritage. It would be the first in the history of this country and in, in the history of their country or in the history of the relationship between the two. There's some wonderful areas over there and we can understand that that will afford us a further and unique opportunity. And that will fit in with the kind of thing that we're doing, such as acquiring Calf Island, which will shortly be, be done, and it will flow along with what my wonderful friend George Mins did with regard to getting Stony and some of the other areas. So we are making progress. It's gonna, it's gonna make this a more wonderful place even than it is now, but it's gonna do something else for us. It's gonna give us an understanding that we're making progress and that it's gonna be good for us for the quality of life for the human beings, and also for the fish and wildlife. So when uh, Peter and George Vans and I and Christopher Dengel and some of my other friends are sitting in a duck blind, we ain't just gonna be shooting ducks. We're gonna be sitting there thinking about how we're gonna work with you to keep on making this the greatest place in the United States of America. Thank you very much.